All right, guys, uh, Automotive Inquiries here. So uh, today I got a little bit of a treat for you. So um, if you watch my Outback videos, um, I did trade my Outback off because I found the Grand Cherokee L oh, about a month ago. Showed up my feet and I was like, what is this? It looks like a mini uh, Wagoneer, Grand Wagoneer. And um, I had a Jeep back in 2003. It was a really good little uh, SUV and uh, really like it. So started doing a re research on it and the dealers had a lot of these initially when they first came out because they are brand new. I mean, you can't even really buy anything for them per se, like the even the all weather mats, if it didn't come on the window sticker, they're back ordered um, and everything. But uh, started looking uh, and I gotta admit that this car is really, really nice. Um, this is the Overland. Initially, I was looking at the Limited because the Limited had everything that I wanted in it. Uh, but they sold the two red ones that I were looking at, and they had this Overland, which typically the Overland would come with the uh, air ride suspension, but because of the chip shortage, it doesn't have it. So it just has the standard uh, eight inches of ground clearance instead of 11. But the Overland is one of the packages that's basically trail rated and ready to smash up rocks or poured water or whatever but I don't think I would do that with a $60,000 SUV that sounds more like a Rubicon or a Bronco or something like that but uh, biggest difference on this one versus the limited it has those little square um, LED fog lamps versus the line ones the line ones I think look really nice uh, but it then has a bigger front fascia piece right here um, with the chrome tow hooks which obviously being chrome you're never gonna want to use them because they'll scratch and then they'll rust um, but those are the LED daytime running lights on the top. You can kind of see flickering because of the, uh, just the camera, um, refresh rate and stuff. But the headlights are very bright. Um, I got this one with the 3.6 Pentastar. Uh, we've had that in our Durango. Uh, great motor, uh, transmission, silky smooth. It's awesome. Uh, right there on that side light, uh, I like the, you know, the body colored, um, versus the body cladding that's gray. Just a personal preference. I don't mind either one, but I like the like the body molded. Um, and these mirrors, they automatically fold once you lock it. Um, and uh, they have the turn signal. They have blind spot monitoring, everything. Like the little touch to America. And there is some question as to why the flag is backwards on one side. Uh, it's not the flags always going forward. So either regardless if it looks backwards or not uh, the flag always uh, goes to uh, And not away. So that's America, baby. Uh, this vehicle was built in Detroit by hardworking uh, uh, America factory workers, so <clears throat> And I gotta admit that fit and finish in this car is outstanding. I mean just a real substantial feel to it um, they did finally add where you can lock lock every door and open every door by touching here, reaching behind it uh, on that. And then because it's the overland, it does have the chrome on the top there. Uh, it does have the auto leveling rear air suspension. Um, so because it's trailer prepped, I uh, do love the wheels. Um, I forgot to check and see if this is E85 ca uh, cable. Oh, there we go. It is not which most of the Pentastars aren't, and frankly, you probably don't want to run ethanol in these anyway. Um, nice LED tail lights. Um, love the actual dual exhaust. I was looking at a Ford Explorer, even though I'm not a huge fan of Ford, I did really like the Explorer, but they have like the fake exhaust where it blows down because of the carbon from the turbos. It's understandable. It does make them look dirty really quick. So <clears throat> we come up here. Uh, it does have the washers on the cameras. I think that's pretty sweet. Um, does have a hands-free gate. You kind of kick right there. Super fast um, versus the Subaru. I don't suggest anybody stand on one leg and kick to open this beast because there is a rubber pad on the back of it uh, that you can just touch and uh, open the door. But you know, the fact that the Subaru one just never seemed to work for me, I, I don't know. Maybe it just didn't, I was doing it wrong. It would open when I'm washing the car standing three feet away but if i covered up them one like it was supposed to it didn't uh, didn't do anything so uh people are hit or miss on this button right here i i could care less where the button is it's nice just to have the automatic gate uh one thing i do love is all the extra led lighting that's up in this thing love that 
Um, it's actually got really good storage in here. Uh, and then that little cover that you can undo back there is to get to your jack so you can crank down the spare tire. But uh, I do really like that. Um, love the chrome hooks. I mean, just like I said, overall fit and finish. I love this thick plush carpet on the side here because no matter what we ever put in the back of any of our cars, if it had the plastic on the walls, it would just get beat up and scratched. Uh, but everything feels very high quality in here. Um, does have um, automatic folding and unfolding seats. And then it does have a remote uh, headrest flip up, or sorry, flip down. You have to flip them up manually. Uh, good storage room back here. I mean, for just a simple run to Walmart, but when you can put the seats down that quick and stuff, uh, I think that's pretty cool. A uh, little grocery hooks here, net hooks here, little bin here, uh, lots of charge ports back here. Uh, and then one thing I do love here too is these are like so softer. I mean, they're they're firm, but I mean they're they're not like hard plastic. They're they got some sustenance, and you got a C and a B charger. Lots of cup holders and me as a human. So I went through here and set up the front seat for me, the middle seat for me. I'm 6'2", and I can actually sit in the third row. Uh, I do like these uh, A, B, and C pillar type um, ventings. I don't really care if it comes out of the ceiling or not or the pillars. Uh, I just think it's nice, and they have a really nice feel to it. Like I said, Stellantis, uh, Dodge, Chrysler, whatever you want to call this company that's making these cars. Uh, everything from my 16 Ram to our Durango. Uh, I mean, it's just been uh, a, a great quality fit finish, you know, compared to some of the high-end luxury cars I've been in, um, you know, they just don't feel all that nice for what you're paying. So a lot of soft touch. Um, this is simulated wood, but it looks great. In the uh, Summit, you do get real wood, soft, soft, soft. And then it gets down here where is the hard plastic, which I could care less about. But big door pockets, rubber thing here. Don't really care necessarily for or against piano black as long as it can stand up to use. And to be honest with you, this one doesn't seem to scratch as easy as Subaru. Uh, and then my Kia was the best. Um, got these little vent shades here, could care less about that, but they're in here. Um, and then I do like that uh, you can unlock all the doors from every door. So that is pretty sweet. Um, a little dirty, the kids are back here for Christmas. Um, pretty easy to get in the back seat here. You know, you just flip this up right here and it slides really easy to climb in um, and then you just put it back these move forward and backwards um, no big deal there uh, love the panel roof and then all these little bitty pinholes right here these are like ambient light at night they don't these ones don't change color but then you have a map light here that you can turn on and off um, this one didn't know when I was looking at it but this one actually comes with four zone climate control so Whoever's in the third row gets stuck with what the driver's doing for the most part, but the blending of the air would be fine. But uh, you got your vents back here, you got an outlet, plenty of charging. Uh, this cup holder, it's nice. Um, and then a little rubberized tray in here, so if you put some in there, it's not gonna slide around and be making noise. These are rubberized. And I like to have they can walk through here. Yeah, I think people will probably kick this thing uh, if they're not careful. And uh, But, you know, that being said, Ford puts one bolted to the floor there. I don't really care for that. Um, but the four zones nice and then they have auto climate control back here, but then you can sync it all from the main uh, system um, Does have ambient light in there you can see the red slightly in the door um, You can change this ambient light all the doors have it door pockets um, Underneath the seats some on the dash and everything which I love I you know some people think that's kind of a quirky thing But I, I actually really enjoy it uh, Seats back here are pretty nice um, again. Uh, I, I probably have I didn't put this all the way back because I kind of just have it set to where I would be able to sit in the third row, but um, you got about two inches of leg room. You do have an easy access front seat. And then one of the big things for me on any car I buy is I like the ability to go up and down with this headrest and tilt. So uh, the Ford had great headrests, but uh, you couldn't uh, tilt them. And I sit my head back on there. So um, as we go into here, Lots of great bright lighting in the car. A um, lot of great storage. Um, again, love the auto up. And like I said, these switches just feel really great. You can set everything to you. And then uh, one of the nice perks is, is the massager seats. Um, really nice. Crank up the heat on the way home. And then, uh, you know, turn on the massager and massage it. So you do have all of your lumbars here and then this moves the lumbar up and down your back. And then this right here is your side bolster. 
uh, tilt and then this is your thigh extension which only Overland and Up will have that but um, I don't use it a ton I used it in the Subaru a lot but uh, just the way these seats are I haven't felt the urge to use it so um, auto headlights uh, see electronic tilt telescope um, leather vinyl horn cap which I like uh, I use touch these buttons a lot I don't see a lot of finger grease on those there's a little bit on these I keep my hands fairly clean. Love the uh, vinyl slash leather stitch dash. It's all soft. Everything's soft. Love the home link. Uh, super bright LED. Everything in here. That's good. Um, let's see here. You got a two-stage storage bin. Lots of storage. Lots of storage. And then the thing I like about it, they put those lights in there and then they, they put that like crushed velvet material, whatever the heck it is. Really makes it nice. And then obviously if you walk around your Jeep, you'll find your little Easter egg. So there's a little grill. Now this is not a cubby right here. So this is just an area where this lid goes. So be forewarned that if you do put something in there, it'll probably scratch that. So uh, lighted cup holders like that. Um, again, it's dusty. I haven't driven the car for about a week. So uh, wireless charging, which actually fits my S21 Ultra with an OtterBox, hooray. Uh, this dial is actually um, how do I explain it? It's, a, it's aluminum or steel that's been, uh, you know, carved. Um, and then right here is your selector switch for all your modes for your um, four-wheel drive system. Just leave it normal. Um, let's see here. Yeah, you can see a little bit of scratching right there. That's probably for my wife. I'll see if I can polish that out with some plastics. But you got downhill descent control. Uh, your neutral release and then your four low uh, lots of charging here and then one thing I do love about this specific car is this display up here is all digital which it doesn't have to be all digital for me but um, I do like that um, and then over here you can set up like three different profiles and everything like that but one of my favorite things is having all of these switches down here because these screens, you can see that as the missus touched it, it's got fingerprints all over it, which I got a screen protector for it. Um, but literally, I mean, the system is so intuitive. Um, it's really good. Um, you know, if I turn this back to auto, it'll go into day mode. Um, so I just like having how fast it is. And then I like being able to see each individual street on there, even if I'm not using the nav. Very easy with voice control to just do it. Um, you can use a wake up call. So instead of having an actual designated button on here for voice recognition, you can just say, hey, you connect in a wake up. Um, but yeah, all these redundant buttons, just nice fit and finish. Uh, the uh, limited had like a rubberized piece here. This is all like um, cut aluminum. If you will uh let's see here nice velvet line glove box didn't think it'd fit that much crap but it does uh overland comes with memory on the passenger side and massager on the passenger side really nice um all the controls up here love the sunglass holder that's a thing that's kind of going away all the auto shade and stuff like that and then didn't even know that this one had it but it does have the rear view camera slash basically if people are in your third row and they're going to fill up that back window so if you have a blind spot this will do that i don't use it a lot i i, I don't use the third row a ton but um good ventilation and i love how all the redundant controls are up here so but like i said you know i didn't see too many scratches on it till today but my wife did drive this uh, a few weeks ago so I have to blow that off some air and then see if I can polish it out. Maybe the polish will help uh, deter that. So um, through here, you can get a lot of information. Uh, why it won't focus? Don't know. There we go. Um, it's kind of it's kind of neat. It's something to get used to um, and everything like that. As for the safety systems, you know the the lane keep, the cruise control. Really haven't used it a ton per se because I do mixed driving, but you know, it, it seems to work pretty well, but it's not obnoxious. The Subaru, I love Subarus, don't get me wrong, but man, that thing sounded like a, a turbulent air flight on a Boeing 747, just constantly dinging and donging and put your seatbelt on, put it off, look at the road. Uh, that was frustrating. Um, but ventilation's pretty good. Everything's pretty soft. This is a little hard. I wish this was might have been soft because just me personally, I sit there with my knee while I'm driving. And that was nice in the Subaru because everything was so soft, but uh, 
Uh, other than that, uh, that's kind of the initial walk around. I've only put 500 miles on the car, so we'll let you know long term. I just put gas in it, so driving from the gas station. Uh, I've been averaging close to 20 in mixed driving, which is city slash highway. And I haven't gotten much better than that. So I'm going to miss that about the Subaru because the Subaru did have really good fuel economy. Um, and then I must say that the Alpine, so if you're looking at the Limited, the Alpine uh, system is great. I have that same system or a similar system in my Ram pickup, and it's great. I mean, it really is. Uh, this is the Macintosh one, which is some big wattage 19 speaker thing. And it is a nice looking stereo, the way everything lights up and the grills. But I noticed on some songs there's some uh, vibration, and I, I'm going to track it down. Uh, we'll find out if it's just like a loose panel or whatever like we had in the Subaru, a loose piece of insulation. Acoustically, it is a very nice system. Tons of bass, which I love. Um, is it better than the Harman Kardons we've had in the Kias? Nope, it's not. And uh, I love music, and I love you know how nice that stuff is, but... Um, you know, it just is what it is. But it is a nice system, though. It is nice. But the Alpine is, I think, equally as nice. Uh, and you probably wouldn't tell a huge bit of difference. But in those Limiteds, I didn't notice any uh, rattling or anything like that. So I'll keep you updated on how uh, the the usage of this truck goes and, and how much I like it. Do love the seats. Do love the drivability. It's super quiet. Love the standard six-speed transmission versus a CVT. Um but I'll fill you in as you go. If you have any questions about the Grand Cherokee L, this is an owner review. I don't, nobody loaned this to me. I went out and bought it because after driving this, the tricked out Explorers, we already have a Telluride, drove a Palisade, drove an Expedition, drove a Tahoe, drove everything. Uh, this is a phenomenal truck and I've always liked Jeeps and I've always loved my Chrysler products. And uh, I would have to say, well done. So if you're looking at this one, the motor and transmission are tried and true. And, uh, you know, I think that uh, uh, for price point wise, I mean, you can get into a nice limited for 50 and you won't even get into an LS or an SLE Tahoe or Yukon for that. And those feel very cheap. But uh, let me know your thoughts and uh, drive safe out there, everybody. Thanks again. Subscribe and uh, give me a thumbs up if you can. And like I said, feel free to ask questions. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Take care.